Good morning, friends. Today we're going to do a little bit different type of video. We're going to look at a book, but not just any book. The Transformers Visual Works book. Um, the reason why we're going to look at this is because um, it's a great book, and it's hard to come by, um, and it goes for an arm and a leg on the secondary market. And basically what it is, is an art book of uh, Japanese art for Transformers, pretty much just G1 stuff, and the Transformers uh, continuation stuff in Japan. Um, I got this in BotCon 2008, which was a terrible convention. Um, uh, I've been to a convention or two, okay, so I'm not ignorant to convention life, and it is probably the worst convention I've ever been to. Uh, Transformer nerds seem to be um, cut from a very different cloth, um, very scared of human interaction, and um, <clears throat> I don't know if uh, years of having to be quiet in their mom's basement has, has uh, taken a toll on them, perhaps, but for better or for worse, they are a different type of animal at a terrible time. Now, I went to TFCon in 2013, last year, and I had a great time there. A very different group of people. So, uh, my advice to those who are thinking about attending a BotCon is just skip it. Um, it, was the, it was literally the worst convention I've ever been to in, in my life. So, let's take a look at the book. Um, pretty much, it, it has uh, the art is very reminiscent of the uh, art used in Call of the Primitives G1 episode, which is a terrible episode, but probably the best looking episode ever animated. And uh, it has a lot of beautiful colored images, and um, and then it gets a little, and then it gets a little weaker as far as the coloring aspect goes. Um, then there's some black and white stuff. It starts dipping into the, uh, you know, the the Japanese, the headmasters and master force and victory stuff, and uh, and then at the end, it closes out with a uh, like a group of like scale, almost like scale images where they show designs for like pretty much the most popular characters in the series, including the combiners and stuff. It's a great book. It's a, it's a great visual reference. Um, Mine has this, uh, this, this cover wrap, and then underneath is a drawing of Devastator. And then it had an additional wrap that kind of came around the bottom section. I don't know where mine is, somewhere. It, it just kind of got in the way, um, but it was like advertising more stuff. Now, the, the problem with this from an American standpoint is uh, there is not a lick of English in here. Not a lick. It is all of these little fancy characters that I imagine uh, are pretty descriptive in their own right but they uh, are of no use to me. Uh, so I wish there was an American version of this but we'll probably never get it because um, this book's pretty old now and on the secondary market it goes for about $250 250 dollars two five zero point zero zero two hundred and fifty dollars fairly expensive unit. I got mine for 40 um, and I think it was the only thing that I bought at BotCon. Um, I got that useless shattered glass set that I sold for like 800 bucks, which pretty much covered my expenses, which was pretty awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah. I got mine for 40 I don't know how these people on the secondary market sleep at night. Um, you know, when they suck at life that bad, I would imagine that they would have a hard time sleeping. <gasps> What's wrong? I had a, a nightmare. Do I suck at life? Kind of. What? No, you don't suck at life. Oh, sweet, I knew it. Uh, but, you know, whatever gets you through the day, if people are willing to, to spend the money, I guess you go ahead and... Do what you gotta do, man. It's a capitalist market. Um, but if you ever come across this at a reasonable price, my advice is to pick it up. If you're a fan of the art, if you're a fan of Transformer art, um, 
I chose to do this because not a lot of people have talked about this book on YouTube. Um, I think probably because it's just difficult to come by, but it's a great, it's a great book. I, I love it. And I, I, I draw a little bit and I, I reference this all the time, um, especially the black and white section, um, just for layouts of characters and stuff. So anyway, nice book. Don't spend all your money on it because uh, it's not that nice. But uh, I would say if you could get it between 50 and 100 bucks, maybe it's worth picking up. Um, but even 100 bucks might be a bit much. Um, but it is a great book. $50 is, is a no-brainer. So, uh, so, yeah. Other than that, a little upcoming news on Friday. Um, marks our 50th video here at uh, Skullface Reviews, defending our missing heroes. So, uh, yeah. We're going to have a little special, little special thing on Friday. Not too special, but just a little talk. I'm going to talk to you. Hopefully you guys will talk to me, and we'll figure out where we're going to go from here. Maybe take a look at the, uh, maybe do a collection video and take a look at my Island of Misfit Toys. How's that sound? Sound good? All right. Well, it's the day after St. Patty's, so uh, I'm in rest and relaxation mode. Uh, hope you're doing the same. Hope you fare well. And uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.